guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I still remain your favorite. It's been a long time and I'm here to wish you happy Christmas in advance. So today, I'm going to be drafting a sleeve. So without wasting much of your time, let's dive into it. So sleeve measurements. Shoulder to cap for shoulder to, or you can put it um, ample, then shoulder to elbow is 14, then shoulder to wrist is 25. So here the roundness here is 14, or the roundness of the wrist is 8. 12 for the elbow because i don't want that place to be tight so once we have gotten the length and the circumference of what we are working on the next thing is to start drafting our sleeve all we have to do is we we'll start first mark out your starting line so i use one inch as my starting line so once you get back at your starting line, you rule out like so. So I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So once you rule out, so guys, here will be unfold. So how to do your pattern for unfold is like this. Then unfold. So now we will start placing our length measurement. So from here to here is four. Then our wrist, our wrist is 14, then our full length of the sleeve is 25. So I'm going to mark down like so, my 4, my 14, then and the full length which is this one is four inches four so this one is 14 then this one is 25 inches so once we are done the next thing we have to do is to start placing our measurement so for you to get this what i have to do here since i have marked out my half line which is four then I will mark out six inches. This six inches will serve as my arm hole. So from the cap, from the arm hole line, I will mark out my arm hole measurement, which is eight, and eight is the standard. So for the elbow, this one is elbow, then this one is wrist, this one is ample, this one is cap. So from the elbow, 12 divided by 2 will give us 6. So from here, I'm going to place my tape here because we are not going to give any allowance here because it's going to be on full. So I'm going to mark out my 6 here. So for the wrist, my wrist is 8, the roundness 8 divided by 2, you are not dividing by 4, 8 divided by 2 will give us 4. So I'm going to mark out my 4 here. I'm going to connect like so. Can you see what I'm doing? On this elbow, and also connect from here. From here to here, can you see what I'm, you can see this is not a straight line. It's kind of slanty. So on the cap line, I'm going to go down by six inches. Here is six inches. 
So on the elbow, I'm going to go down by three or four, depending. So we are going to go down by three inches. So here is three, here is six. Depending on the type of sleeve you want to cut out, we have a normal sleeve, we have shirt sleeve, we have, you know, um, blazer sleeve. So from this point, I'm going to make sure that this is curved to reach this point, from this point to this point. Like so. So from here, I'm going to make sure that this connects to this point. Like so. So you can curve it out from here. Perfect. So you can curve it out like so. Since you have gotten what you need. So this is now our sleeve. From here, you can start adding your seam allowances. So to add your seam allowances, we are going to add one and a half inch here. We are going to add one and a half inch here. We are going to add one and a half inch here. We are going to add one and a half inch here. Then here, we are going to add half half inch. Half half inch here. So since we are done, we are going to connect like so. This is the kind of the simplest and easy sleeve that you can do. done with your coven you start adding your you start connecting your seam allowances so again instead of half inch one two on this side so once you are done since you have added your cap your ankle your elbow your cap your ankle your elbow and your wrist so we are good to go we are going to cut it out we have different methods on how to cut it depending on what works for you so since we are going to go I will start cutting it out I will start cutting it out following the seam allowance guideline This sleeve will help you if you want to add any extension, even if it is uh, on the arm, if it is on the elbow, you only have to fold your sleeve uh, block. So if you're going to add any sleeve extension, you fold the full length you want to cut out, then you can then uh, add your seam allowance that you're going to stitch on with. And then you are good to go. If the full length of the sleeve is here, then you cut it out. Or then you fold it, trace out, then you are good to go. So this is the full sleeve that we have drafted and cut out. It's going to come in. It's going to come in handy anytime you want to make your sleeve. So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take measurements for your sleeve in case if you are finding it difficult to do. So all you have to do is, this is your tape. Make sure that your tape is not strengthened. So, you see, depending on where you want to take, you can take it inches and also you can take it centimeter. So take this, this is where, this place is where your shoulder just your shoulder joints here. Then place the tape. You can ask somebody to help you or you can do it by yourself. Then do like this to hold the tape from falling down. Then you measure the length. Here is your elbow. Please, you want to measure your elbow. Don't do, don't strengthen your hand. 
curve it or bend it like this so that you will get here. So here is 14, but if I do this, it will be kind of 12. So once you do that, if you are measuring your sleeve or your your sleeve, if you are measuring your sleeve, don't strengthen your hand like this or like this. Just cut, just hold it like this so that you can able to get the joint curve very well. So once you get see so the measurement, you get your cap length, your cap length, then the if it's full length sleeve your cap length, your elbow, then your wrist, these three things, then you can measure your sleeve circumferences where you took your sleeve length. So from here to here is 14, then my wrist, my wrist is 20, my wrist is 25, my cap is 4, my cap is 4. So from this one, I'm going to place my measurement, my round measurement to the tip, and then take my cap roundness. To make it tighter is 14. Then my elbow, please remember to fold. 14, 11, 14, 11, then here. Fourteen, eleven, eight. So you put them all down. 